Hello everyone. Hope everyone's uh, safe at home. Since curfew has been lifted in many districts, hope all of your lives have become normal. We don't know when school will start. Anyhow, we'll have to continue with our studies. Therefore, I thought of doing another video on writing an answer to another essay type question. This is on prose. Today I have selected the Laho attack which uh, is an extract taken from Kumar Sangakara's Colin Cowdery lecture. This prose you have to study in uh, grade 10 first term. Hope everyone can remember this one. If you do, it would be quite beneficial and if you don't, then after going through this video, I hope that uh, you will remember what you have learnt and how to use the facts you have learnt to answer a question related to this prose. So don't forget to like and subscribe this channel. So let's hop in to the question. Mm, the question we are going to discuss today is, in his speech on the Laho attack, Sankakari is able to show genuine feelings for his teammates and his fellow Sri Lankans comment on this by taking examples from the prose. So, as we did in all the other questions, the first thing we have to do is finding out the key phrases. In this question, it seems that uh, the keywords are genuine feelings, teammates, fellow Sri Lankans. So, you can see that this question has two main parts. You have to prove Sangakara's feelings towards teammates as a leader and fellow Sri Lankans as a citizen and a Sri Lankan. All of you know that this extract you have to study is about uh, the attack experienced by Sri Lankan cricketers when they toured in Pakistan in uh, 2009. And Kumar Sangakkara had spoken about his experiences openly in his Colin Cowdery lecture given at Lodz. This uh, terrorist attack was a terrible and horrible experience the cricketers had to face. But in this speech, we are able to see Sangakkara's love, sincerity, patriotism as well as uh, his leadership qualities. I will do another video on uh, the leadership qualities of Kumar Sangakkara later. But first, we will consider about the things in this question. So, as I have told you earlier, there are two parts in this question. You have to address both these parts when you answer this question. If you uh, only talk about his feelings for team players or only talk about fellow Sri Lankans, then your answer would be incomplete. So please remember to talk about both these parts. First, we will talk about Sangakkara's uh, genuine feelings for his teammates. When we discuss about this part, there are several facts we can talk about. First, his uh, great responsibility as a captain of the cricket team. He notices what each and everyone does before and during the attack. And also we can see his concern for others, his acute observation and awareness as to what happens to others. And finally, his effort to keep up the courage, unity and team spirit of his players. Through all these things, we can understand about his feelings towards the players. And in the next slides, we will discuss about these facts one by one. Okay, the first fact we are going to talk about is how Sangakkara notices what each and everyone does before the attack. This shows that his concern for his team members is not limited to the hard times, but it is always there. He is vigilant about his surrounding as a great leader should be. 
He notices how fast bowlers were loud in their complaints about the innings they have to play. And also in the lecture too, he remembers and he recites about his experience, which is a characteristic of a great leader, which is uh, to be concerned and alert about everyone. Then we will move on to his acute observation and concern about his teammates. This also proves his uh, genuine feelings about his teammates. During the attack, you can see that he is aware of the situation and plight of all the players. Here we can see his uh, genuine concern as a leader. A leader or uh, a teammate always have to take care of others. To do that, uh, he should be quite observant. He notices that Mahela is shot uh, in his shin and uh, Tilan was shot uh, in his thigh. Here, what we have to understand is that this is a very tensed situation. Usually, uh, in this kind of a situation, most of the people are concerned about themselves. They are unable to uh, look at others. But Sangakkara is different. Even in this kind of a severe situation, he was able to observe and uh, show his concern about them because he has got genuine feelings about his teammates. When Tilan, who was uh, by his side of the bus, got hit with a bullet, Sangakkara turns his head to look at him. At the same time, a bullet thuds into uh, the exact spot where Sangakkara's head had been earlier. And uh, then he was shot in his uh, shoulder. So by these things, we can see how horrible this uh, situation is but somehow Sangakkara shows his concern for others. After Ma Sangakkara was hit, the pain did not stop him from being concerned about others. In spite of pain, uh, he was observant about his teammates. When Tharanga Paranavithana, who was uh, in his debut tour, was hit in his chest, Sangakkara thinks, uh, Oh my God, you were out, first ball, run out, next innings, uh, and now you have been shot. Here we can understand his genuine sincerity towards the players, even to the newest members of the team. They uh, may not have known each other for a long time, but still, he is humble and not arrogant. So, he shows his concern for others. Not only that, he strongly stood up to the situation as a great leader. He had uh, portrayed courage and bravery. In his speech, he says that during the attack, there was no insane panic. There was uh, absolute clarity of what was happening around him. Here also, we can see his uh, genuine concern and feelings of others. If he had collapsed in front of uh, this grave danger, it would have affected all the members. So. He tried to keep up the courage and spirit, not only of himself, but also of the team. This aspect uh, cannot only be seen during the attack, but also after the attack. You all know that uh, when a person had to undergo this sort of an experience, he becomes shocked and devastated. But after the team was able to go into the safety of the stadium, Sangakkara tries to lift up the spirit by talking. 
you all know that uh, when people get a chance to express their emotions it reduces their shock so when they are in the dressing room they talked about what happened he did so because of uh, his love and concern for the players here too we can see that uh, sangakara's feelings for the team is genuine he uh, selflessly tried to reduce the pain and uh, strengthen their spirit in the next slide we are going to talk about the last fact on uh, genuine feelings for teammates kumar sangakara as a captain of the cricket team had the ability to raise confidence in the minds of team members to overcome their fears and doubts when people face a terrorist attack unexpectedly it raises doubts in their mind in this situation sangakara with his genuine concern and feeling for his teammates uh, tries to show them that since their spirit is strong and uh, since they are united they are able to get through any hardship when uh, tilan was brought back they made jokes at him to lessen the tension he did this because he was uh, very much concerned about his teammates now from uh, this slide onwards we will talk about the second part of the answer that is genuine feelings for fellow sri lankans here we can see his uh, patriotism that means the love for the whole country and his sympathy and respect for the people who are living in war ridden areas and the soldiers who protect their motherland by risking their lives in the war zone here we are going to talk about sangakara's patriotism or love towards his country when a person loves a country that means he loves the people in the country as well so if a person loves his country then he has to uplift the good name of that country and make other people respect it it is what sangakara did during the interview uh, after the attack during that interview he was calm rational and collected if they had behaved in a different manner it would have ruined the respect and dignity of the country so due to his genuine feelings for sri lanka and its people he tries to show the world the power and bravery of sri lankans even in the lecture too he highlights that sri lankan people are courageous and strong so we can understand that he has uh, genuine feelings for the people in sri lanka had great sympathy and uh, compassion for the people who are in war affected areas firstly the people who had to inhabit those places though uh, he did not have any personal experiences of violence prior to the attack still he is aware what kind of hardships uh, they had to go through just to survive but uh, after the attack that awareness became a personal experience then he not only had sympathy he also felt awed at uh, the courage of those people these people have been uh, suffering from this sort of violence for nearly 30 years and uh, he openly admits it in front of an international audience this also proves that he has a great feelings which are genuine for sri lankan people then we can uh, move on to talk about sangakara's genuine feelings for soldiers 
this feeling is evident through uh, the scene between the soldier at the checkpoint and Sangakkara. There we can see mutual love and uh, respect soldiers or Sri Lankans have cricketers. When the soldier inquired Sangakkara about his health, he says that he is fine and uh, also added that what soldiers experience every day, the cricketers experience for a few minutes but manage to grab all the headlines. Here we can see that uh, he is aware of the courage and selflessness of the soldiers who protect our country. And also we can see Sangakkara's concern and uh, respect towards these soldiers. He says that soldiers are the real heroes. Then the soldier's answer took Sangakkara aback. He was surprised to hear that uh, this soldier values his life lesser than Kumar Sangakkara's life. He openly reveals this incident to the public because uh, of his genuine feelings of love and respect for this soldier. And also, uh, through these instances, we can understand that Sangakkara is a great humanitarian. The final paragraph of the prose where Sangakkara says that he tries to do his best to be worthy of the love of Sri Lankans also proves that he genuinely cared about the people in Sri Lanka. Then finally you can uh, move on to write the concluding paragraph of your answer by summarizing the things you have pointed out. So after going through this video, I hope that you not only got an idea uh, how to write an answer, but also uh, a complete picture of uh, the content of this extract you have to uh, study. Then we'll uh, wind up for today. If you have any questions regarding the video, please comment them. I would try to answer them as best as I could. See you from the next video. Have a nice day.